Hello guys, today, I am going to show you an American sci-fi action film from 2017 entitled, Geostorm. Warning! This is a spoiler content, watch out and take care. The movie opens in 2019, global warming had become so bad, catastrophic weather was plaguing the world. The nations of the world came together to create a solution a weather controlling system nicknamed Dutch Boy. It deploys satellites around the world and succeeds in containing a potentially devastating hurricane over Shanghai and manages to keep climate stabilized all across the globe. Jake Lawson, the main architect for Dutch Boy, is brought to testify before a court. Senator Thomas Cross is particularly displeased that Jake went ahead and started Dutch Boy without his own approval. Jake fails to make a compelling argument for his case, choosing instead to just argue with the senators, justifying that Dutch Boy has proven to be a success. Jake's brother Max tries to shut him up but to no avail. After the meeting is adjourned, Max tells Jake that he has been chosen to take Jake's job, and he regrettably fires his brother. Three years later, a team of soldiers move through Afghanistan. They come across a village that appears to have been frozen over, covered in ice and snow. The soldiers find the villagers standing frozen in place. Up on the International Climate Space Station, an engineer, Mac Maud, gathers log data from the Afghanistan incident in secret. He moves through the station when the windows start to blow out, causing Mac Maud to get sucked out into space. President Andrew Palma is alerted to the incidents and he calls for a meeting among his cabinet. They determine that there must have been a glitch in one of the satellites over Afghanistan. Palma proposes to send one person up to the ICSS to fix the situation. Secretary of State Leonard Deckham talks to Max and suggests that he get Jake to go up there since he knows Dutch Boy better than anyone involved, but Max thinks it wouldn't help to ask Jake. Max drives up to Jake's home in Florida where he meets Jake's daughter Hannah. Jake appears none too pleased to see Max, but Max pleads with his brother to help him investigate the Afghanistan incident, knowing that many lives could potentially be at risk. We move to Hong Kong where a heat wave has passed over the city. A man named Cheng Wong, who heads Dutch Boys Hong Kong department, is leaving a grocery store when he drops his carton of eggs. To his surprise, the eggs start frying on the street. Suddenly, the ground rumbles before gas mains start to burst underground and explode. Ching races across the city as more mains start to blow, causing an earthquake that destroys part of the city. Ching makes it to the middle of a bridge as he and other citizens look upon what remains of the city. Jake agrees to go up to the ICSS, even though he knows he will leave Hannah behind. She tearfully says farewell to him before staying with her mother. When Jake reaches the ICSS, he meets Ute Fossbinder, the station's commander, plus her crew Duncan Taylor, Ray Dusset, Ian Iadissa, and Al Hernandez. Together, they look into Hong Kong's satellite, but the robot arm holding it goes haywire, nearly killing everyone until it crashes, leaving the satellite destroyed with no data to work with. From Hong Kong, Ching contacts Max after finding out he cannot log in to access their satellite. Ching warns Max that if this pattern of weather continues, a geostorm will occur, in which disastrous weather will strike all over the globe at once. Ching escapes his office when he finds that mercenaries, led by a man named Rico are about to raid the place. Max then turns to Dana, a cybersecurity hacker. She finds that Max cannot gain access to the satellite as well, meaning that the whole system has been hacked by someone else. Jake sees in a surveillance video of the accident that killed Macmau that a hard drive got stuck by a panel. He goes out to retrieve it, but his space suit malfunctions and he is nearly killed. After making it back inside the station, he shows Ute that he got the drive, but he keeps it a secret from the rest of the crew, fearing that one of them may have deliberately sabotaged him. While attempting to go over the drive, Jake and Ute find themselves unable to access the information. Jake video calls Max and tells him a story about their father taking them fishing. Max takes the video to Dana and says it's an encrypted message from Jake since their dad never did take them fishing. Using their dad's old phone number, Max decrypts the message to learn that Jake believes someone within the White House is responsible. Max attempts to meet up with Cheng. 
Rico is behind him, and he pushes Ching into the path of a car. Max rushes to a dying Chen, who manages to mention something called Project Zeus before he dies. He relays this info to Dana, stating that Project Zeus is meant to manipulate the weather and create the geostorm. Jake and Ute find the log data in the locker that MacMount had stored it in, which is Dusset's locker. He initially thinks they suspect him of sabotaging Jake, even holding them at gunpoint, but they come to an understanding. They find out that a virus was spread to keep ICSS employees from logging in. Jake contacts Max again with the suspicion that Palma may be behind the hack. In order to stop the geostorm from happening, they need to reboot the system with kill codes, which are with the president as they are biometric and require his fingerprints and eye scan. Max tells this to his girlfriend, Secret Service agent Sarah Wilson, as he needs her help to get Palma. Max and Sarah head to the Democratic National Convention in Orlando, where Max learns that a huge thunderstorm is about to hit the area. When he tries to warn Deckham and ask for his help, Deckham takes Max to a room and tries to shoot him, revealing himself as the true villain. Max rushes to tell Sarah. She creates a diversion to get the other Secret Service agents away while she gets Palma. She and Max take him in a self-driving cab just as the storm hits. They get far away from the stadium as it is blown up by a massive lightning bolt. Sarah drives through the city evading Rico and his goons. They go under a bridge and manage to push Rico into the path of the storm, causing a bolt to hit his car and blow him up. Deckham is ahead in the road and uses one of his goons to try and kill Max, Sarah, and Palma with an RPG. The car blows up, but they are not inside. Max and Sarah incapacitate the goon and hold Deckham until the police arrive to arrest him. Before he is taken away, Deckham says his plan was to take out America's enemies and leave the United States in charge of the world, with him as president. The virus starts to completely take over the station, causing its self-destruct sequence to go off. The satellites then go out of control, causing devastating weather to hit parts of the world, including a tsunami in Dubai, a heat wave in Moscow, and tornadoes in Mumbai. People are frozen in their tracks, burned alive, or sucked up. The geostorm then counts down to less than 90 minutes. Jake soon learns that Duncan is responsible for spreading the virus. Jake goes to beat the crap out of him and learns he did it because he was offered more than what he was paid up there. Duncan accidentally hits the windows with bullets before Jake gets out, just as the window blows out and sucks Duncan into space. Max and Sarah get Palma to send the kill codes. Jake contacts Max and says the kill codes will only stop the geostorm but not the self-destruct sequence. Jake prepares to die despite Max trying to find a way to help. The brothers acknowledge their love for each other. Jake rushes to take the kill codes to the main computer, with Ute staying behind to help him. Once they do so, they manage to stop the geostorm, bringing all the crazy weather to a halt. As the station continues to crumble, Jake and Ute find a nearby pod. The station is obliterated, leaving everyone thinking Jake is dead. Hannah watches at home with her mother and starts crying. Max is then alerted to a video from a nearby shuttle that the pod is signaling for help. The shuttle, flown by Hernandez, stops to grab the pod, saving Jake and Ute. They are brought back to Earth, with Max and Hannah both feeling relieved. Six months later, Jake gets his old job back working on a new Dutch boy system. He, Max, and Hannah are shown trying to fish since they never did as kids, but they decide it's too boring. We then hear Hannah's voiceover saying that while we cannot change the past, we can only hope to make the future better. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked my video. Subscribe my channel to never miss out any video.